hey guys what's up so in this video we will have a look at attribute accessors accessor methods so in the previous videos we saw that there is attribute underscore reader which will help you write reader methods for the attributes so here we have written attribute underscore reader for a and address then what it will do is that it will give you accessor methods reader accessor methods for attribute at the rate as and at the rate address so at the rate address for this class doesn't exist so for the timing let us remove that okay and then we discuss there is something called attribute underscore writer what it will do is that it will create the writer methods to the attributes that are passed to that so here attribute writer is passed colon name so for name attribute it will create an accessor method writer accessor method so it will provide with you a method like this name equal to then argument so <coughs> what this method will do is that it will give you a way to change the value stored in instance variable at the rate name so that was that now in this video we will look at attribute underscore accessor why do you use why do we use attribute underscore accessor many a times there are attributes for which you will have to create both reader and writer methods so you do not want to write attribute underscore reader name of that attribute then attribute underscore writer name of the same attribute you just want to do both in one go okay so for that we have attribute accessor so how do we write attribute accessors it's the same way as we write attribute reader and attribute writer so here I'm going to create a reader and writer method both at one go attribute accessor okay so I here called attribute underscore accessor and I give it one attribute that is colon name what it will do it will create reader and writer methods for that attribute name so writing attribute accessor colon name is equivalent to writing these two methods So we wrote attribute accessor colon name. What it will do is that it will create reader and writer methods. So reader and writer methods for that attribute. And inside that it will go and read the information stored for the instance variable with the same name. And in case of writer it will go and look for the instance variable with the same name and change the value stored in that instance variable with the argument that is passed okay so writing attribute underscore accessor will do the both the things which will be individually uh, done by attribute underscore reader and attribute underscore writer okay so attribute underscore accessor whenever you use that you create both reader and writer accessor methods for your attribute at one go so let's see that thing in action I have defined this attribute ac attribute underscore accessor for name so I have these both the methods available automatically without writing them so that is why I can delete them okay so I, I am done with my class then I create here an instance of the same class and first I am going to read the information stored in at the rate name instance variable so I use reader method name and then I'm going to change the information stored in at the rate name instance variable for that I'm going to use writer mm, method name equal to some argument and then again I'm using reader method name to get the information of instance variable at the rate name to see if that I'm getting the changed value back so let's exit and rerun the file and here you can see that first I got David using the reader, reader method and then I got the John using the reader method because in between I used writer method to change the value of at the rate name instance variable from David to John so this is the way our attribute accessor method works so whenever you have to write both reader and writer methods for some attribute rather than writing individually at the rate attribute uh, at the rate reader and at the rate writer for the same attribute 
one after the other you can use just attribute underscore accessor with that attribute and it will create both reader and writer methods and you can then read the information from your instance variable or you can write the information to your instance variable so that was all for this video see you guys in the next video